So take a deep breath for me. And exhale. Inhale. And you know how to do the breath of fire, right? Yeah, just quick inhale, exhale. Which, which is the part that you focus on? The exhale, right? So, yeah, so it comes from your, your Uddiyana Bandha. So it's the lock between your belly button and your downstairs area. <laughs> and so you're pressing from there. And so I'll do it with my mouth, my mouth open to kind of help you understand it a little bit better. But it's... So you're pressing all the air out, and the inhalation comes automatic. That's our nervous system. Either one half of it that you intentionally, and the other Yeah. And so it's just with your mouth closed going. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you inhale, you want to take big belly breaths. So your ribs should move out to the side. Your back should move. And then when you exhale, you kind of want to sink down and close the V right here in your ribs because we're trying to flatten out your diaphragm, give it a little bit of relaxation. And then inhale deeply, and then we'll exhale, exhale, three rounds of 20. So with our eyes closed, just leaving the outside world out there. <laughs> and then inhale, deep belly breath. And then exhale, sink down and close the V. And then inhale deeply. And exhale, 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 exhale. Sharp exhalations through the nose. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, 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 five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. And exhale, take your left hand to your heart and your right hand to your belly. I'm taking a minute to breathe You're through the center of your heart, through your chest. Imagining your breath coming out through the center of your heart. Trying to remember a time when you were really, really happy. Or maybe around some people that you really, really love. Or feeling the love and appreciation for the people around you. I want you to try to recreate that moment right now in your mind and your body. Try to picture their faces. Setting an intention for your practice today to never give your power away. And we're either changing or we're dying. We're growing. So we're growing every day. Strengthening our mind and body. Slowly open your eyes and come to your downward facing dog. So the room's a little cold. <laughs> and so just take a second to kind of find your down dog. Find some space in your body. And so we always want to grip the mat with bridges and domes. So you want to have domes in your fingers. I mean, bridges in your fingers and a dome in your hand. Like you're trying not to kill the person underneath your hand. So your hand is domed and your fingers are squeezing the mat. So... Bridges and domes. Yep. And then make sure all knuckles are pressed down onto the mat. Mm -hmm. So this is our strongest architecture in buildings, everything. So this way we're not dumping into the wrists and we're building strength in our hands.
trying to notice where you can find more space, lengthen out, pulling the shoulder blades down and back, lengthen in the spine, pushing your body away. Lift your toes up towards your face, firing up the front parts of your legs. And then inhale deeply through your nose. Open up your mouth inside out. <sighs> Lion's breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open up your mouth inside out. <sighs> You're keeping that same breath, making your exhalations longer than your inhalations, but with your mouth closed for the rest of practice. And then look between your hands and step between your hands and forward fold. Grab opposite elbows and just lean your body weight forward. So it almost feels like you're trying to fall forward. So really leaning. Yes, good. And then reach up, palms pressed together. And so we want to reach up to the side because when we reach up forward, we're already dumping in our back. So coming out to the side and reaching up like you're trying to touch your fingertips towards the ceiling, pull your shoulder blades down and back. Lengthen in your spine, engage your quads and press your heels into the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, pull back in your shoulder blades. And exhale, step back to your plank position. And lower halfway into your half push-up. Very good. Inhale, upward facing, coming onto the tops of your feet. Pull your chest through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good job. Very clean lines. Very good. Take your heels together. Bend your knees out wide. Look between your hands, step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. And then take your arms back behind you, leaving your head in a neutral position. And just really keep reaching those arms back behind you, trying to release some tension in your neck and shoulders. And then slowly take a little bit of a back bend, pressing your hips forward. And exhale, forward fold. Good job. <laughs> Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step back to your half push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take your heels together, bend your knees out wide, step or jump. Inhale, flat back, good job. <laughs> Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. And as you exhale, reach over to the right side, pressing in your left hip. Good. It's more about lengthening than trying to get over to the side. Inhale back to center and exhale fold over to your left side. Sorry. <laughs> Reach over to the left side. Sorry. <laughs> Pressing over your right hip. And inhale back to center. Exhale forward fold. Inhale flat back. And exhale step back to your half push up. Inhale upward facing. Exhale downward facing dog. Take your heels together, bend your knees out wide, step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. I love how your breath is moving you, not your movement moving <laughs> you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sorry. Bend your knees deeply, touch the floor, and reach up into your chair position. 
palms together because it's harder. <laughs> and if it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. Sink lower. Get a little micro tuck in your back so we're not dumping down into the low back. Now try to take your legs like you're trying to open your legs, but you're not moving them, just squeezing them out to the side and then squeeze them together. Breathe. Look up towards your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite pose. <laughs> Inhale, flat back. And exhale, step back to your half push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. So anchor your left foot at a 45, toes facing out, and then use that momentum, that um, brace, engage your core, right leg comes up, and then step between your hands, engaging your core, warrior one. And so really take your toes a little bit more forward. Yes, and really press into that back heel. Hips are forward. Just really try to use that leg to press back to turn your hips more forward. Shoulders forward, palms together because it's harder. <laughs> And as you exhale, out to warrior two. Good. Maybe you turn your front toes out a little bit. So we're opening a little bit more in that groin area, trying to get a pelvic thrust going here. <laughs> and then trying to stack your shoulders over your hips and then reach forward and reverse your warrior, keeping that bend in the front knee. Good. Nice. Straighten out your front leg and then hinging forward at the hips, reaching forward, coming into your triangle. So you can even grab your big toe with your peace fingers since you're pretty flexible and then try to pull up like somebody's lifting you here. Gaze is up towards your fingertips. And then coming back to your warrior two. Right elbow on the inside of your knee, pressing your knee open. Hand reaches up and over, palms facing down for side angle lunge. Mm -hmm. And you're reaching, so it's pressing all the way down through your heel. And this is a great place to start your bird of paradise, but we won't do that today. <laughs> so coming back to your warrior two, and then circle your hands all the way down to your half push up. So one exhalation all the way down. So step back into your warrior two for a second. <laughs> so take your hand, both hands on each side of your foot. So take right hand down, left hand down. Engage your core to step your foot back. Yes. <laughs> and then come to your half push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Anchor your right foot at a 45. Lifting up your left leg. Using that momentum and brace, step your left foot between your hands. All right, so back to your warrior one, and hopefully we can try to match it back up. Yeah, <laughs> so I can get it all nice for you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the hips are coming forward, and just do a little bit of a pelvic forward. Yeah, palms together because it's harder. <laughs> yeah, so yes, we've always been taught to have hands up. We need to challenge ourselves. Yeah. yeah, so palms together are quite a bit harder. And then as you exhale, open up into warrior two. Trying to match up your heels. So you want your heels in alignment. Yes, perfect. Good. 
and trying to get those shoulders more stacked over your waist. Yes. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> yes, yes. And, that, and then now you'll reach forward and reverse the warrior. And then straighten out your front leg. Really get some good stretch here in the side body. I love that right there. And then hinge forward, reaching forward. Maybe take a slight bend in the knee, grabbing your big toe. And then lift. Yes. And then coming back to your warrior two. <laughs> and then take your elbow on the inside of your knee, pressing your knee in the opposite direction, and then reaching up and over, palms facing down. One solid line all the way, pressing everything here like a ramp. <laughs> Get some Hot Wheels out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and then come back to your warrior two. And then circle your hands down, squaring your foot, engaging your core to lift your foot back. Yes. <laughs> Half push-up. Inhale, upward facing. That's probably one of the best half push-ups I've ever seen. <laughs> Exhale, downward facing dog. Usually I have to go over half push-up for like 10 minutes at the beginning because I am a stickler for half push-up because, yeah, it's, it's our arm balancing pose for everything. So you need that more than anything. Take your heels together. Bend your knees out wide. Step or jump. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply, touch the floor, and reach up. Palms together because it's harder, looking up towards your fingertips. And give me a little tuck so we're not dumping into the low back. Yes, just a little one. Hands to prayer center. And as you exhale, left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Woo! <laughs> And then engaging your core, step your left foot back behind you into a warrior one foot. Yeah, so that the heel popped up is actually a hot yoga thing. Trying to take your gaze up. Good. And then stepping back up to the top of your mat, coming back up into your chair. And then twisting to the left side. Good. Keeping those hips squared. Trying not to let the knees splay apart. Yes. Good. Step that right leg behind you into the warrior one foot. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yes, I know. I wasn't either, and I did it wrong for eight years. And I really have a hard time doing it <laughs> still. <laughs> And then step to the back of the top of your mat. You can't tell you're struggling, though. It looks good. <laughs> Exhale, forward fold. <laughs> good. <laughs> Take your feet about hip-width distance and grab your peace fingers and grab your big toes. And then inhale, look up, pull up. So take a deep bend in your knees here. Not everybody's as flexible as you. <laughs> and then as you exhale, start to lean forward, lifting your butt up. And so this is our yin and yang pose. And so our legs are working. Everything's engaged. And our top half of our body is relaxed. And you want your arms winging out to the side. Yep. And then don't move your feet, but act like you're internally rotating them. So engaging those muscles and then lean your body weight forward. <laughs> yeah. So that's actually um, the forward fold pose. <laughs> yeah. So breathe. So make sure your shoulders are not pulled up into your ears. So pulling your shoulder blades down and back and then turn your head yes and no. And then slowly release. Take your hands to your waist and then slowly, slowly come up. Very nice. And so grab any kind of bind. So you can um, take opposite elbows. You can take opposite hands. Or you can reverse prayer. 
<laughs> see how well I can do it today. <laughs> So reverse prayer is just a display of flexibility, but we don't ever want to try to get flexible in that pose. So step your left foot back behind you with your foot anchored out just a little bit. Just a little step. Nope, just a little step. Sorry. Nope, you're good. There you go. Maybe a little bit bigger. There you go. And then again, hips are staying squared forward. Everything's forward. And then you're going to hinge at the hips, leaning forward. Your gaze is about a few inches in front of your toes. Imagine you're trying to bring your heart towards your ankle. Make sure you keep your hips squared. Yes, really engaging the legs. So your back leg is um, externally rotating, firing up your deep six, and your back foot is internally rotating. And now you're trying to rip your mat in, in half. And then release your bind very slowly since you have the the reverse prayer and take your left hand on the outside of your right foot and twist. Yes, good. You really got to engage those legs. Good, perfect form. Very amazing. I'm going to use you for all my videos. <laughs> and then step to the top of your mat forward fold. Take your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance. Woo! <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> Uh-huh. And then you're going to bend your knees deeply, take your hands all the way underneath and trying to step on your wrists if you can, because we don't get very many counterbalances or counter poses on our wrists in yoga. So it feels kind of nice. Maybe you massage your wrists with your toes. <laughs> and then inhale, look up, pull up. And then as you exhale, go all the way forward. Arms are winging out to the side, legs straight. And so your chest doesn't have to be near your legs in gorilla. And again, pulling the shoulder blades down and back. Our top body is completely relaxed. We're internally rotating our front feet, and we're leaning forward. So the advancement, yeah, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. So the advancement of this pose is to be tiptoed into your palms. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> and then slowly release your hands, bend your knees deeply, and then take your hands to your waist and slowly, slowly come up. <laughs> yes, uh, that one never gets easier for me, never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's intense, right? <laughs> You're like, oh my God, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do any more hair glass. <laughs> Step your right foot out just a little bit, anchor, anchoring your back foot out just a little. Hips are forward. And then take the same bind that you took on the other side. And so we're squeezing our legs apart like we're trying to rip the mat into two different directions. Externally rotating, so we're Externally rotating our front foot and internally rotating our back foot. So really engaging those muscles and ripping the mat apart. And then hinging at the hips, leading with the heart, leaning forward. And this is our intense side stretch. And then slowly release your bind, taking your right hand on the outside of your left foot and twist. Very good. Very, very good. Step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Good job. Because <laughs> you're closing your eyes. Yeah, that's yep. probably it. Yep. <laughs> and that's one of the things I make people do in class too. So inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. And then as you exhale, take that right foot out and step big to the right. So step big out to the right. Yep. And then hands on your waist. And again, we're internally rotating our front feet. So no, 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 we're not internally because then that puts our pelvis in... Um, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> so you want your toes forward, but you're just engaging the muscles as if you're internally rotating your feet. So you feel that. And again, we're going to lean forward like we did in the other ones, but you're going to hinge at the hips and start to lean forward. And then you're going to lean your body weight forward, 
really firing up in the legs. Careful, careful. <laughs> and then slowly take your hands down to the mat and walk your hands back until your palms start to lift. And then slowly starting to lean forward, pulling your body weight through the opposite direction. Yes, breathe. And then slowly, slowly taking your hands up to your waist, flat back coming up. And then interlace your fingertips and behind you, but make sure your palms stay together. We don't want to compromise the shoulders. So just because our phalanges, I was going to say phalanges. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and so inhale, look up, pull up, and then exhale, leaning forward, just letting gravity do the work here. So again, we're still kind of leaning forward, but we're just allowing gravity to do the work. And then slowly, slowly, flat back, coming back up. And then come into your yogi squat. <laughs> I need to go narrow. <laughs> yeah, no, so go narrow. So go where your yogi squat is. Mm -hmm. And so use your elbows to press your knees out. Good. Try to lift up and then pull your pelvis forward. And then take your right hand in front of your shin on the outside of your foot and then twist looking up at your left hand. Keep pressing. So you're going to use your arm to press that knee open and then you're going to engage your other leg to pull it back. <laughs> it's really good for the low back. And then coming back to center. Left hand on the outside of your right one. That's why I'm doing it with you because this is so good for the low back. <laughs> you feel it in the low back? Yeah. <laughs> and then hands back to center. Crow. So in crow, I'll just walk you through it, how I normally walk people through it. I just have them take their hands directly down. Of course, we're bridges and domes in the fingertips, so we're gripping our mat. And then you come up onto your tiptoes. And then slowly start to squeeze your knees into the back of your armpits as you lean forward. Taking your heels together. So heels, heels go together in crow. Uh-huh. Good. Breathe and shoot it out into Chaturanga. <laughs> Good job. Ouch. Are you okay? <laughs> and then X. <laughs> and then come all the way down to your half push up. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. <laughs> and then just find your mat again. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. <laughs> And give me, um, just give me five either frog hops or donkey kicks. Try not to hear yourself land. There you go, much better. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then take a small child's pose. <laughs> A small child's pose. <laughs> Don't want to do this one? Huh? Should I be doing this? Yeah, that way. Uh -huh. And with hips wide, wide open. <laughs> I know, I know. I usually use Miles's because it's 10 feet long and 7 feet wide. Right? <laughs> and then that's enough rest. So come back up to your down dog. <laughs> I'm not that nice. <laughs> 10 feet. Yeah, I just, it's just making you think that was nice for a second. <laughs> Take your heels together, bend your knees out wide, donkey kick up to your half, to your forward fold, or to your half lift. So donkey kick up to your half lift. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. And then turn towards me since there's not a ton of room over there. 
<laughs> and take your right foot up. So you can take your hand onto your knee and then take your left hand on your knee and twist, looking up over your right hand, keeping your foot flexed and engaged. And then coming back to center, right hand moves that knee out to the side, really pressing that knee out, pulling your pelvis forward. And then taking your gaze over your left shoulder. And then inhale back to center. And then as you exhale, straighten out that leg and hold for three. So <laughs> do what? <laughs> <Have fun. laughs> Two, try not to lean back, lift higher. And one, pull your knee into your chest. Ah! And then try to, good Lord. <laughs> so knee into your chest and then just try to keep it where it is and spring. Try to keep it up as high as you can and spring it out. <laughs> Good. And then straighten out your leg and hold for three. Lift higher, two, and one. Good job. <laughs> Switch legs. <laughs> I thought I was pretty good at this. <laughs> I know everybody's like, how do you get your leg up so high? <laughs> Years of practice. No, I'm kidding. And then so tw uh, so switch legs, right? You got it on your other leg now. And then taking your gaze over your hand. Yeah, anytime we switch out our gaze is when we start to lose our balance and it's mm -hmm. finding it again. Mm -hmm. And then coming back to center. Probably about half moon. Yeah, I love that. That's my favorite pose. Oh no. <laughs> and then take that leg out to the side. Taking your gaze over your right shoulder. <laughs> I know I'm trying not to do too much in front of you because you want to be out of their jersey, their gazing point. And then back to center. Take your hands up over your head, straighten out your leg and hold for three. <laughs> Try not to lean back or bend that front leg. Two. And one, pull it in. Try to spring it out. <laughs> and then straighten out your leg and hold for three. <laughs> Two. <laughs> We're doing face yoga today. And one. <laughs> so, Rage yoga. <laughs> Rage yoga. <laughs> I'm stretching my quads. And <laughs> uh, so yeah, right foot is going to come onto the inside of your thigh, thigh into your, pressing your heel into your thigh, your thigh into your heel. Mm -hmm. And then interlace your hands in front of you, taking your hands up, and then slowly taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. <laughs> and now back bend until you fall out. So keep going back. Trust your body knows what to do. We 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 don't let our body have its intuition anymore. <laughs> Woo! It will catch you. <laughs> Good. And then taking your left leg in. Mm -hmm. And slowly taking your gaze up towards the ceiling. And grow your tree. Uh huh, and close your eyes. <laughs> Took away one of your senses. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, hands up. Right arm comes underneath your left for eagle. And so, take your hands away from your face and pull, like, have your shoulder where they're coming, yep, directly out. Now pull back in your shoulder blades, yes. And then, yes. <laughs> yes. So you wanna engage your core, pull all your bandhas, your udiana and your muliana, and squeeze them up, engage your quads, press them into the floor, and then take all that power up and over. And then sink down. 
So try to sink down and back and not forward. And then unbind your legs, sending it out behind you. Hips still square to the mat. And then reach forward, warrior three. <laughs> taking your left hand down to the mat, stacking your hips, and then taking your gaze up towards your right hand. And so if you flex your foot and really press into your heel, it'll make you lot more light, more balanced. Take your gaze up towards your right hand. <laughs> See, told you, as soon as I looked at my hand, <laughs> caught, caught sight of my hand and went right there. <laughs> so very slowly. Exhale, forward fold. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you hate it, but you love it. <laughs> my bam, I love her. <laughs> and then inhale, rise all the way up, palms pressed together. <laughs> <laughs> and then as you exhale, take your left arm underneath. Same thing, hands away from your face. Pull up and then pull back in the shoulder blades. Engage your quads. Press everything down. Take all that power up and over. And then sinking down and back. I'm trying not to move because anytime you're balancing, you don't want to be moving around the room. And then slowly unbind your top leg, sending it out behind you. And then reach forward, squaring your hips towards the mat. And then taking your right hand down to the mat. Slowly squaring your hips, <laughs> stacking your hips. <laughs> And then slowly taking your gaze up towards your left hand. Good. So really reaching your body in all the different directions will keep you so much more balanced when you press into it. Forward fold. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> My other side is better. Today is the other side. <laughs> And then so you're just going to slowly lower all the way down to your mat. Come up onto your tiptoes. So come up further, though. Come up. Yeah. <laughs> and then just come all the way back for boat. <laughs> Good. And then reach your arms up over your head. And then slowly lower down for three, for two, <laughs> and one. <laughs> I always tell everybody, oh, it's my big butt. Because <laughs> I I go, I start to lower down, and then I'm like, work. <laughs> yeah. With the arms up there, tough. Yes. It feels like my upper body is heavier than my legs in that case. My arms are four, and then I'm much more balanced. Yeah. Slower. Yeah, I know this is harder. Sorry. <laughs> start doing that. Well, your practice is perfect, so I have to make it, you know. <laughs> and so take your knees towards your face and start walking your hands underneath your back for shoulder stand. And so keep trying to walk those elbows back under, straighten out your legs. And so here I want you to floint. So flexing and pointing. So you're going to floint. <laughs> So you're going to flex and point at the same time. So okay. flex and point. Yeah. It's called pointing. <laughs> so good. Yes. And so here you want big belly breath. Very, very good. And then slowly hinging at the hips, taking your feet back behind you. And you're going to come onto the tops of your feet. Breathe, making sure you're not turning your head either direction in this pose. Interlacing your hands behind you. And then, <laughs> yes, I know, I love that. <laughs> and then taking your knees to your ears for ear pressure pose. Oh, ear pressure pose? Mm-hmm. Oh, dead bug. Dead bug. <laughs> 
<laughs> you look like something. I don't know what. <laughs> and then t uh, un release your bind in your hands and take your hands down to your mat as breaks and then slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae. And then pull your knees into your chest and rock and roll three times. Oh, so yeah, rock and roll. Yeah. <laughs> huh? And then you're just going to straighten out your legs and forward fold. Yep. So, yep, forward fold. And don't try to get anywhere. I just want you to floppy fold over. Yeah, just literally just be floppy and foldy. <laughs> floppy and foldy. <laughs> Good. Oh. Flowy, there you go. <laughs> kind of like fleeting. <laughs> and then slowly come back onto your back. And take your heels towards your butt. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> and you can obviously touch your ankles. <laughs> so <laughs> and start to interlace your shoulders back behind you, interlacing your hands behind you, and then start to press up into your bridge. Trying to bring your chest toward your chin towards your your chest towards your chin, not your chin towards your chest. <laughs> and then take your hands up and over, fingertips facing forward. Mm -hmm. Nope. So forward towards your butt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then so slowly. So this um, so this is step one. And so step one, everybody can do step one. So step two, coming onto the top of your head. Or option two, I like to say option. And then option three is lifting all the way up into your wheel. Good. And then option four would be to take your full expression of wheel, which is actually your feet are going to walk out. And you'll, there, your feet will be straight, and then your head will be coming through, your, your chest will be coming through your arms. <laughs> and then slowly lower down. <laughs> so tuck your chin to lower down. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, was just, I was thinking about it. I was like, should I try that again? I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, so a full expression of wheel is your chest is completely through your arms, okay. and then your legs are straight. So they're okay, straight so like, like Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so that's a full expression. I've seen that before, never tried it or knew what it was supposed to be. Yeah, it's a full like, expression of will. Yeah. It looks cool. <laughs> I don't think I could ever do it, but. Okay. Oh, you totally can, whatever. <laughs> and so going back into your bridge or wheel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I like doing it that way because it sets up their alignment perfect. Yes. <laughs> Careful. And so kind of rock back and forth. So you're going to rock back and forth. So coming this way and this oh, way and this oh way God. and this way. <laughs> and then tuck your chin and slowly lower down. Good job. <laughs> so we're supposed to keep people in that for 30 breaths. 30 breaths? 30 breaths, oh. yeah. Okay, I've been doing it wrong. I thought it was being me doing 12. <laughs> And then one more time because we do three wheels. Yep. Three wheels for 30 breaths each. Yeah. <laughs> now I got a new bowl. Oh, yeah, Will doesn't even bother me anymore. I could like hang out in Will for days. Will is one of those things I can do it again. Yeah. Like, yeah. Chair used to be the, my nightmare, and I could sit in chair forever now. I hate chair. I hate chair. Most people hate chair. I don't hate chair anymore. I used to hate it. You despise chair. <laughs> yes, good. So keep lifting, breathe. Maybe make your will a little longer if you can. Yeah, sorry. Because <laughs> your knees are kind of coming past your toes here. Ah, perfect, much better. Already way more room. I don't know if you felt all that, or so, but I see it. <laughs> and then slowly tuck your chin and lower back down. Good job, yes. So tuck your chin, tuck your chin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> you trust me a little. <sighs> a little bit. Yeah, no, and I. Um, good, actually, like, yes. Hard, yes. Yeah. And did you notice when you took your legs oh, yeah. back how much room yeah, you got? Yeah, yeah. 
because like, your your uh, your your knees were going past your toes, and then yeah. so you're kind of putting a little too much pressure on the front of your ankles because yeah. you're kind of getting them in compression, and then your knees are going pa uh, past your toes, so you're taking a lot of that weight into just the joint of the knee, and you don't want that. You want yeah. you want everything you know helping. Thinking about it, that's probably why generally a lot of the times I end up lifting up on the balls of my feet. Adjusting the orientation yeah. of the joints. Yeah, because it's actually easier to come up on the ball yeah, of the feet. Yeah. yeah. So I, I always make people sink their heels yeah. down. <laughs> I'll have them lift one leg and then the other. And then, you know, and I'm always telling them, like, where else can you go in this pose? Like, right. can you start to stand up maybe? Or yeah. can you, you know, can you. I usually challenge people by telling them to lift one leg. Mm -hmm. down or come down to your forearms, you yeah. know, and start doing that. So going going wider actually feels better and it, it does feel more challenging too though. And it's interesting because anytime I've ever done the pose, I've always made people go in mm -hmm. and like try to walk your hands to your feet mm -hmm. or vice versa. Mm -hmm. But that feels better and more yes. productive. So yes. Start doing that, my yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like I said, you were trying to—you were almost taking your ankles into compression, and then yeah. you had your knees pretty past your toes. So yeah. then you've got everything in the joints, and we're trying to use everything and open, right. open. So yeah, so yeah, yeah you got so much more space when you just step back that just that yeah, little bit. Like, oh I yeah. Longer, I felt my legs go straighter. <laughs> my, even like all this was like. Yeah. Up, so all good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> and then just wheel chilt wiper your legs side to side. I love this one. <laughs> and then let's see. So you're, take your hands down in front of you, cross your your legs, and then just lift up and back into downward facing dog, and then come down to your knees. On your knees, bitches. <laughs> I used to say that every time. <laughs> I didn't care who I had in class. Right. <laughs> those, uh, that were like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, if, if if anything like offends you in my class, like then you just don't need to take my class. Because right. it's just <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. I'm super offensive. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, go ahead and come down to your elbows. And then take your hands um, like this. Yep. And so that's pretty much where you want your, your shoulders to be. And you want to make sure that they're directly underneath your shoulders. Mm -hmm. So most people, a lot of times, will have their arms winged out in headstand. Yeah. And so you want them to actually have them way in more than you think. Mm -hmm. And so take your hands directly out and interlace them in front of you. And then take your hairline right in front of your pinkies. So headstand, yeah, your headstand. Like you're here. Yes, your headstand, you will not, you should not be on the top of your head in a headstand. The only time you're on the top of your head is in tripod. <laughs> yeah, no, so you're not actually supposed to be on the top of your head when you actually come all the way up. So let me see your head real quick. When you actually come all the way up, so you want to start here. And then when you start to walk up into it, you'll be about right here on your headstand. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the time you lift up. Yeah, by the time you lift up. Uh huh. Okay. And you should be able to turn your head because all the pressure is in your shoulders. Like these are your three points of balance. Yes. And then so start to walk your feet forward into down dog legs. <laughs> yeah, that's a different way, but you got to, to get used to it. But and then you'll pull. So keep walking forward because you want to get the shoulder, the hips over your shoulders and then bend one knee, take it to your chest and then bend the other one in. And then if you're there, then you'll slowly take your legs up. Awesome. Good. And then slowly start to let those legs go back behind you. So bend your knees and keep pulling your hips forward, arching in your back. Keep letting those legs go back. It's a lot easier than people think it is. Breathe. <laughs> Ooh, you're going to be excited when you see this. <laughs> And then slowly come back up to straight legs. 
and then pull your knees back into your chest and lower down. Good job. <laughs> good, good. So did that feel different? Yeah, I did. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. And then in back, that part was like. Yeah. So that's when you have to get used to, but that's your, you see how, how much easier you probably thought it was than, than, cause it looks scary, mm -hmm. but it's actually easier than it. Just like headstand is easier than to the way it did in the chair thing. Mm -hmm. the yeah. Thing. But, but now you're just balancing. Though, you're yeah, your exactly. You're on the yeah. side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. <laughs> you want to do Shabasana or you want to just. I don't know. Either way. <laughs> we'll go ahead and lay down for a second. Let's okay. let your body just kind of <laughs> let your body be like, oh, what the actual French toast. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's like, that's uh, my beginning class. So I constantly change up my sequence. I don't ever really plan a class. <laughs> I've never planned a class. I know I'm supposed to, but. <laughs> and so in Shavasana, let your breathing become normal. So we're trying to completely just tune out The thought comes to you, recognize it as important or not, and swipe it away. And give your mind and your body this time to relax. Shavasana.
At a certain point, we all need to make the shift from living from our head into trusting what's in our heart. We need to become intuitive beings. This is not easy. We all have a lot invested in our knowledge base, including our identity and self-image. When we first start living from our own intuition, we feel clumsy and self-conscious, maybe even dumb because we have to give up our learned smartness. The truth is that whatever we start anything new, we will be awkward. It's like a new relationship. The first date is always awkward, but the more time you spend with that person, the more familiar and comfortable you become. Until one day there is more trust and sense of security. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Starting to wake your body back up again. Twisting in your wrists and your ankles. And reaching up over your head and kicking into your heels. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then pull your knees to your chest. <laughs> Take a happy baby, because that gives us better heart rate variability. <laughs> this actually raises our heart rate variability, <laughs> which we want high heart rate variability and low heart rate. And then slowly come up to a seated position with your eyes closed and your towel on the back of your neck. 